going to have a part of the cake. That means that Harris, Helena, and I have already taken three over four of the cake. Three over four equals three quarters. That would leave one quarter of the cake for someone else. Well, Ayman, thanks for your explanation. You are such a genius. Okay, there is one quarter of this cake left. We'll save this last quarter for Mum, since Dad doesn't like chocolate cake anyway. Yes! Finally I get my cake! Thank you, sis. Thank you, Professor. Horace! Can you please come here for a while? Oh no, not again! <laughs> How do our friends Harris, Ayman and Halina share the cake? Have you jotted down all the fractions? Well done! Let's see if you've got them right. Okay, come here and let's take a look once again at the fractions. A fraction is a number that shows a portion or part of a whole. To understand fractions, you must be able to see how a certain part fits into a whole. Let's take a pizza, a cake or a cookie as a whole. They are all different in shapes and sizes, yet we can still divide them into parts or fractions. Let's take a look at the pizza and cookie. When we cut each of them in half, we find that they are not really the same. That's because half a pizza is bigger than half a cookie. Let's think about them in fractions. One part of the pizza or cookie can be called a half, one half or one over two of the whole pizza or cookie. An important fact to remember, when the two parts or halves are put back together, they will become one whole again. Think about that. Do you understand what half, one half, or one over two are? You do? Good! Now you are on the way to becoming a master of fractions. We've learned about halves, so now let's find out about quarters. Let's take a cake and cut it into four equal pieces. These four pieces will be of the same size. We call each of them quarter. If we take one of these pieces away, it means that we are taking away one quarter or one over four of the cake. Now, let me take away two pieces. This means two quarters or two over four of it is taken away from the cake. Two quarters is equal to one half. Here, this graphic will show you what I mean. Well, do you understand it now? I'm glad you do. How about three quarters? Please look at the screen. Three quarters is three pieces out of four pieces that make up one whole cake. And finally, all four pieces of the cake when put together again becomes one whole cake. That's four over four and it equals to one. That's it. Hope you really understand what fractions are. Let's 
take a break. I know all of you are really going to enjoy this. Come on, let's sing along. friend so he slept with another three this little girl has a pair she cuts it into half and she shares it with her friend they really enjoy the pair both get an equal share His friend, so he slept with another three. This little girl has a pair, she cuts it into half, and she shares it with her friend. They really enjoy the pair, both get an equal share. you can remember. Let's try and answer some questions. 
You can discuss them with your teacher or your friends. Good luck! Who wants to be a master of fractions? Look at the pictures carefully. State the shaded parts as fractions of the whole. You can choose from the answers given. If you get them all correct, you will be the master of fractions. Are you ready? Yes, well done. You are correct. Let's take a look at the second picture. Yes, that's great. You've got the correct answer. State the shaded parts as fractions of the whole. Congratulations! You've got it right! State the shaded parts as fractions of the whole. Yes! Very good! Well done! Okay, it looks like everybody was able to answer all the questions correctly. So you are all now Masters of Fractions! Well, that's all for today. Hope to see you again next time. Bye! friend so he slept with another three this little girl has a pair she cuts it into half and she shares it with her friend they really enjoy the pair both get an equal share friend so he slept with another three